Hi everybody. Um, you have to excuse the fan noise on my laptop. I'm gonna have to take this thing apart and and oil my fan and get that taken care of. But um, this is a an additional part. Yeah, I have notes. I wrote down things for um, second part of my video for the the service year reports. Um, I noticed a couple of things. See, I wanted to go through um, the world reports. I went through the United States one and compared them to see how things were going. And so I went through the service year reports for 2017 and 2018. 2018 first, because I wanted to see where the big increases were. You know, so um, if I found anything like I have... 9%, 10%, 18%, 24% increases. So I wanted to, I wrote down the numbers for 2018 and then went back to 2017 to see how much of an increase that was. So um, 2018, um, I got uh, one here of 18%. And I thought, wow, that's really a lot, right? 18% sounds like quite a bit for a religion that's only, you know, barely 1% of the population of the world, right? So 18%, I was like, wow. <clears throat> so I wrote it down, Falkland Islands. And um, their peak publishers for 2018 was 15. 15 was their peak publishers. And that was up from 11 in 2017. So they gained four publishers, and that gave them that 18% increase. So it sounds like a lot, but it's not really. And you go across the paperwork, and it says that there were zero baptized. So if you think about it, if there's nobody baptized that year and they had four more publishers, that means that some of their children or maybe an outsider maybe um, got um, well enough in the congregation to um, join the, the ministry school or whatever they call it now and start giving talks and stuff like that so um <clears throat> and that can happen before you get baptized so um even though they had an 18 percent increase it was four more publishers and nobody baptized there's another one on here um montserrat 24 percent increase they have 34 peak publishers up from 27 last year. Zero baptized for this year or last year. Nobody baptized. But a 24% increase. <clears throat> um, there was one that I just don't really understand. And you can look it up and see what you think too. It was um, Benin. And I think that's in Africa, I think. West Africa. Been in. And they listed a 4% increase this year and 3% last year. Now, 2018 on the list, it says there are 842 peak publishers. And then I went to 2017. And it said, peak publishers, 12,939. So I'm like, they had a little shy of 13,000 publishers last year. And they're down to 842 publishers. And they still have a, a gain of 3%? That I don't understand either. I really don't. 
Um, another one said 10% increase, and they only gained one publisher. Three were baptized. So, these numbers in the service report, if you can lose um, 12,097 publishers in one year and still have an increase, I don't trust these numbers at all. Junk. Like the United States numbers. Um, they didn't claim an increase this year. But they lost 562 congregations. And the number baptized in the year dropped. Average, average publishers went down. But peak publishers went up. So, I think the average publishers, they're talking about pioneers, I think. But, um, I got so far into the numbers. <clears throat> Excuse my voice, you guys. You know how it is. Um, got into the numbers, and um, I started seeing these 24, 17, 13, 10 percent increases. And even an increase where they lost 12,000 publishers, um, they, the numbers can't be trusted. Um, there's just no way. Um, some of the places are like really strange, like Angola, for instance, okay? And I want to compare them to the United States. Because in the United States, there's 1.2 million. Jehovah's Witnesses. In Angola in 2018, they reported 155,991 publishers. So let's say 156,000. And that is just a tenth of the 1.2 million in the United States. They have one tenth the publishers. They say that they baptized 12,000. 215 people this year. 12,000. Now, in the USA, where there's 1.2 million of them, they baptized 26,000. So, they must be really hopping down there. And I don't trust that really because <clears throat> if, in fact, they had a couple assemblies in 2018 and they had 12,215 people baptized, you would think that that would be on the head page of JW.org. You know, all of those baptisms with just 156,000 witnesses there. That is, like, incredible. They have one-tenth of the people, but they only baptized half as many as we did. That means they're baptizing people five times the amount they are in the United States. Which, okay, so they don't have internet there, and they don't know the truth about the truth, but you would think that the organization would have put that up big time on their on their broadcast or on their website or something and i didn't see anything about that let me know if you did i didn't see it but 156,000 people and they baptized 12,200 people that's a lot which I don't know about that. I really don't. Um, that seems absolutely incredible. They um, have a like 10,000 more people than they did last year. So if they baptized 25,000 people in those two years, but their publisher numbers only went up by 10,000, that doesn't seem right either. 
their number for peak publishers should show that 26,000, but it doesn't. It only shows 10,000. So that seems odd to me also. So I don't really trust the cert the the service year reports. I don't think that they're honest. I think people are fixing numbers. And how can you lose 12,000 publishers and still have a 4% increase? I don't understand that either. So, if anybody has any answers, write them below in the comments and we'll discuss them. But I wrote the numbers down here. <clears throat> if you have anything to say about it, let me know. I'd appreciate it. Um, maybe you can, maybe somebody out there, a uh, uh, Jehovah's Witness that's listening can convince me that these are right. How come Ang Angola... Um, baptized 26,000 people, but their numbers only went up by 10,000. I, I think I think that means that most of those baptisms were people that were already in the organization. Well, see, it doesn't matter because the baptisms would reflect that anyway. So I don't know. It just doesn't make sense to me. So, um. Let me know. Talk to y'all later. Have a good night. Bye-bye.